How's it going, everyone? Yeah, it's your boy Corey here, aka Crasher, back with a new video. And ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a pretty hilarious topic to talk about here. We have ourselves an article on Dexerto, and it's titled, Pokemon just revealed the latest card set, and it's already a huge meme. So... All right, let's see what is going on here. Let's see what this article is about. The Pokemon Company has announced that the training card game will get a new rare Pokemon card type as a part of the Sword and Shield expansion. Its bizarre design and gameplay mechanic has left fans scratching their head. It's hard to believe that the Pokemon TCG has been around for almost 25 years now. Over decades of releases, the hobby has seen its fair share of mechanical gimmicks and design overhauls. But the trading card game's latest variant, V-Fusion, might be one of its most radical to date. The new rare Pokemon cards are so strange in design that the fans have been mocking it with memes. Revealed on June 10th, V-Fusions are a new rare holo that consists of four smaller cards which can then be combined together to make one massive card. Hardcore collectors may remember a similar design featured in 2010's Heart Gold and Soul Silver expansion with the Legend variant. However, unlike those cards, the new Sword and Shield Fusion type requires double the amount of items. Bizarrely, in order to play the new variant, you must first move all four cards into your discard pile before you are able to combine them and bring them back into the game. While not everyone that buys the Nintendo collectibles is interested in playing in the Pokemon TCG, the new design is strange for collectors as well. Players opening packs may find themselves scoring a rare card only for the entire artwork just to be afoot. The new card variant immediately had Pokemon fans confused over its design, such as one user who wrote, I don't understand how these work. The information is kind of confusing. The other players outright hated the design, like another that exclaimed, Break cards were one of the worst gimmicks in Pokemon TCG, and now they do a similar design again with four cards. Why? The card's unique design was immediately mocked on social media as well, with collectors creating memes. Oh man, can't wait to spend $600 on Charizard's ass, someone tweeted. So kids buying boosters can now open Mewtwo's leg twice and not be able to play them? This is shameful, someone else argued. Fans even begin to make mock-ups of a Pokemon foot card selling on eBay for exuberant prices. While it's true that the TCG had legend cards back in 2010, it appears many collectors are not buying the gimmick being broken up into four pieces. And to be fair, they have a point. Imagine getting Zashian's tail and right leg as a rare card pull. Somehow, the magic of it being a rarity hits far less. Users also couldn't help but compare the mechanic to being similar to one used in Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, so now that we're done with the article here, just I cannot believe how much of a fail this new edition is. Well, I mean, like I would say it's like a super over-the-top fail, but the community's memeing the shit out of it, man. So I don't I definitely don't think that this is a win by any stretch of the imagination. And this right here especially cracks me up. Like, as you see right here is an image where we have ourselves Mewtwo's foot card being on sale in US currency for $99,997. It's just Oh my god, like, this is, this, like, what, what was, what were Pokemon TCG thinking with, with something like this? Honestly, like, just what the hell? And it looks like Mewtwo isn't the only Pokemon with this rather bizarre gimmick. We also see Greninja and Zacian with this as well. Now I have to give a shout out to this tweet right here made by Tanny underscore OS. Imagine opening a Pokemon card pack and getting straight up balls. And as we see here is an image of Mewtwo's hand, but 
I think you guys can put two and two together. And the reply to this tweet also cracks me up. Nah, that's a fidget spinner made by Rosinia Chan. Big shout out to that user as well. So while this might seem like a bit of a fail from the Pokemon companies then as far as TCG is concerned, it's a win for the community because this right here is just more stuff that we can poke fun at and meme and have a good time and that's really all it is at the end of the day. You know, it's just us poking a little bit of fun. Not really meant to harm anyone, but honestly, ladies and gentlemen, what are your guys' thoughts about what we discussed here in this video? I'm going to wrap things up here. I want to say thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for your time. If you enjoyed this video and you got a good chuckle about it, let me know in the comments down below and also leave a like on this video for the algorithms and subscribe for more content if you enjoy what you see from yours truly. Thank you guys again for watching. Have yourself a damn good one. And thank you very much for your guys' time as well in viewing my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video.